I'm Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jake Ellenberger. He's got a fight coming up at UFC 126 against Eduardo Roca, De La Roca, who I want to call Zach De La Roca from, <laughs> from Rage Against the Machine. Um, yeah, he's got like six names. He's got six. He's Carlos. He's Eduardo. We, yeah. we apologize for calling you something else, but uh, it's going to be a fun fight. Hard to find a lot of information about him because most of his fights have been in Germany, but what do you know about him? You know what, I know he's a, a jiu-jitsu black belt. He's from Brazil, so obviously he's going to come uh, well-prepared with, with a good strategy. So for me, it's just uh, being smart, you know, staying disciplined in this fight. But uh, every, every way I picture it in my head, you know, I leave with my hand raised. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel about this, though, not being the John Fitch fight? You know, a lot of people ask me if I was really disappointed, and to be honest, I'm not. You know, this card's obviously stacked. It's a huge card. <laughs> yeah. For me, I was just... Lucky enough to stay on the card, you know. Right. Joe and Dana kept me on the card, which which was a uh, I was really happy about. So, you know what? I'm I'm employed right now and I'm fighting, so I'm happy. You know, if me and Fitch, you know, if we fight down the road, you know, that's 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 what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of an exciting time to be in the UFC as far as the, the welterweight class is looking really good, mm -hmm. and there's there's leaps and bounds that you can make. Like the other night, Melvin Guillard put on a great show, starts mm -hmm. calling people out. It's a competitive field for sure, and it seems like a place where if you make a great fight. And an exciting fight, you can really, you know, make an impact and improve your career. Absolutely. You know, and that's that's the best thing about this sport is each fight, you know, the better performance you make, you know, the, the farther you're going to go. So really, you know, I'm, I'm 25 years old, you know, and I'm still, I got a lot of a lot of years ahead of me and, and I'm still learning. So to be in such a, you know, or, an honored, honored organization and, and to be fighting for the UFC is, yeah. is an honor for me. So, you know, I got... I'm blessed right now. Sure. And in a way, Roca might provide you with more opportunity for an exciting fight. I mean, un unfortunately, that's been the criticism with John uh -huh. Fitch is that he doesn't always bring an exciting fight. So maybe this will be something where you can get a little bit more fireworks out. Sure. Absolutely. You know, and uh, that's that's the thing, too. Like, this style, I think it's a, it's a good matchup for me. I think I can showcase my skills a lot better for this fight. You know, I've had three in the UFC, which, you know, all have been exciting, but I still think I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just scratching the surface as far as what I can do and what I can show in the welterweight division. So, you know, for this style, I think it's going to bring a lot out of me, a lot, a lot out of me. You know, whereas whereas Fitch is definitely going to be a more strategic fight as far as a, a wrestling and, and a position battle. So, you know, I'm excited for this fight. So after the John Howard fight, that was in August, right? Uh -huh. On the same card with our good friend Mark here, yeah. with, with whom you train. Uh -huh. um, that one had to feel pretty good because that was a pretty decisive win for you. Yeah, you know what? Uh, John is a that dude, he's a fan. He's a very underrated fighter. I yeah. think he's a he's a powerful guy, and I mean the guy's got a lot of knock. He's got a lot of power. I think he's. I think he's got. You know, one of the guys in the division who has a, a lot of power. There's not a lot of really powerful uh, strikers. I think actually, you should say in, in the welterweight division. But yeah, that, that guy's. A, he's a tough cat, man. So I just. You know what? I was. I was training for a war and right. and I came out on top. So. Yeah, that, that's cool. what did you do to celebrate after that win? Oh man, I, I ate everything in sight. <laughs> Nice. It's Starting funny. with what? Oh, I, I, I probably went to all you can eat sushi buffet. Yeah, yeah. Then I went to ice cream. I don't know. I just I just like to eat, so that's yeah. what I do. I celebrate. You know, I, I eat I eat till I get sick, and then I regret it. But you know, it's, it's a cycle. Okay. Yeah. How how do you walk around like right now? You know, we're just a little. We're like what ten days out, I guess, kind of for yeah. your fight. Or, you know. So what are you walking around at what, right now? Um, I feel good. I'm probably 186, 188 in yeah. there, but uh, hydrated. You know, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And obviously, as a wrestler, you've done the weight loss thing for, for years and years and years you, 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 you've kind of mastered that um, I've, I've done it for a few years yeah. so you know I'm, I got a pretty good routine down yeah you should say nice mm -hmm. how does your uh, brother help you get ready for these uh, he's a big he's a big help for me um, you know what he's a guy and, and also my uh, strength conditioning coach Riley Rossi he's one of Mark's good friends mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just, for me, surrounding myself with, with people that are always going to be honest with me and tell me, you know, tell me what I, not what, not just what I want to hear, but they tell me the truth, whether I like it or not. So <laughs> it, it's, it's easy to stay humble with guys yeah. like that. And my brother, you know, always telling me what I need to do, you know. Mm -hmm. There's those days, you know, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to train. Of course, you don't want to get off the couch, but it's like you're going to have to do, you know, I know what I have to do. So, you know, you, he definitely helps me in, in things that I, you know, staying mentally strong and, you know, with my faith and, and pretty much everything. So he's there, he's there for me all the time, though. Who gave you the... Uh, I don't know. Some Who knows? Out here. One of the 20 barbarians in here. <laughs> Trying to prove a point. Caveman. Yeah, you're going to 126. I'll show you 126, yeah. right? Oh, you fight in the UFC, yeah. Oh, yeah, tough guy. Yeah, exactly. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, do you... Do you have a girlfriend? Are you married? I do. I have a girlfriend. Okay. Do you not have 
the sex before a fight, or do you uh, are you cool with it? Do you um, you know we're competing theories on that? I you know what I, I try to stay away. I guess a, a few at least three or four weeks before yeah. a fight. You know, just kind of stay away. Um, I, I won't go into too much detail, That's but fine. we'll just say I like uh, probably stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, good. I just am curious on that. Uh, if it it's gets more it. of a personal prep, you know. I mean, right. it's. It, I think it's more. Uh, it's all in your head. Mm -hmm. It's more mental than anything. So, right. but for as far as like staying away from like, you know, a lot of just any type of mental distractions and, and things in your way. But yeah, I, I like to stay away from it. That's just personal preference, you know. Right. Right. I know people that don't, but it's all up to you know the fighter. Right. So, I know people, you know, don't want to look past who they're fighting right now, but where do you see yourself in the division, and how soon do you think you should be up for a title shot? That's that's tough to say. You know, every, and really for me, it's just taking it one fight at a time. Like, uh, every fight's dangerous, you know, and every fight is, you know, you can win or you can lose, and, and really... And it's it, the the bad thing about the sport is is I mean I say it's your good good or bad but it, you're only as good as your last fight so really for me the biggest thing for me is just staying consistent in in, in winning you know because I, I can't look past anybody you know this guy's this guy's coming to make a name he's coming to win he's coming to beat me so one fight at a time you know hopefully obviously the the year end goal is to get up there in the in the top three but uh, for me I just, just focus on. Uh, this fight alone and winning and, and moving on from there. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, I will see you out in Vegas, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. This is Jake Ellenberger, and you're watching MMA Heat.